everybody, I'm Sandy. I live with 50 Ghost and welcome to my home. Deep in the South, there's a place where anything can happen, where the characters are both real and surreal. I grew up around this area. When my wife Sherry and I built our dream home, we built it on an historic site just outside of Nashville. I've always been fascinated with the paranormal, so I decided to build a place that welcomed ghosts. While the house was under construction, I buried a large crystal under the entry foyer, creating a dimensional doorway. I made a deal with the ghosts. I said they were all welcome as long as they kept the bad ones away. They can come through it, but they're not to mess with Sandy because the, the rules have been set. We have a close group of friends and family. They come to hang out at this special place where we plan investigations, review evidence, discuss cases, analyze facts, and explore the unknown. With a big group here, our energy is just going to bring the ghost out even better than what they normally do. Around here, the paranormal is normal and they call this place the Paranormal Palace. You all have the freedom to walk around and, and do your psychic stuff. Meet my friends. They're always ready to explore the unexplained. This is Val. She conducts investigations at famous sites and historic homes. Guess what? Check out our new investigator. Ooh, let me see. Her husband, Mike, is an award-winning pianist. He likes to invite celebrities to these investigations, so you really never know who he'll bring. Sunny, thank you for the truth you let me see. Shirley, she's another gifted intuitive, fascinated <laughs> with the history of different places and people. The stick man sighting that I had, right? And that's when I saw this immense, huge, they look like stilts almost, but they were bent at where the knees would be. Give it a whirl, see what happens. All right. Because I don't think you've ever sat in one of the pyramids. No, I don't think I have. Here's Rodney. He's a journalist and musician, as well as a paranormal insider. We sat there, the bass player and I, looking at the lights. We've got one, two, three, four, five oh, lights. Uh, the first light, <laughs> the, the, the end light on the end, goes uh, uh, Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And this is Kelly. She's an intuitive, and among her many experiences, alien entities have contacted her, asking her to help them communicate with people here on Earth. My guides pull on my head mm -hmm. for a yes answer, and I'm, I'm always asking them questions, and then being an empath, I can feel different energies. Right. Last time and seven, Mike, Kelly's husband, he's a keen observer who sees details and connections that other people overlook. Some folks on the other side of the fence the last time here. Yeah, we were being watched the last time we were here. We also need to ask him about those circles. You know, there's like circles of grass up in the backyard. Mm -hmm. Timothy. He's the organizational consultant with his own foolproof method for determining what is the truth and what is not the truth. I'm just telling my ego to shut up, to stay out of the way, and just looking for that universal truth. This is Brent. He's the major publisher of a paranormal magazine and a radio host. He analyzes the facts to uncover the underlying truth. After a few weeks, he's home alone, and he just takes it off the shelf and blows into it. Suddenly, he's in like an out-of-body state. Here's the newest member of the group, Chris. We're really glad he joined us because he seems to have a special talent for speaking with the spirits. I'm 29. How old are you? Well. This is Ty, the illustrator of our group. He has a special talent for capturing the apparitions and odd anomalies that we see. I saw Stickman, at least part of Stickman, out here on the back porch. And Sherry, well, she's not always thrilled to have ghosts around here, but she's learned to appreciate them. And the ghosts really appreciate her because she prays for them. I did get scared here one time, and I told him to tell the 
them to leave me alone. Did they? And he said, they ran from you. And we see a lot of stuff. Well, that's the team. And our children and grandchildren, you know, when your parents investigate the paranormal, they tend to grow up with a unique perspective of the unseen world. So if you are wondering what it's like to live with 50 ghosts, yeah, I can tell you. There's activity almost all the time during the day and night. From objects moving, apparitions, unknown lights, okay. sounds, parallel dimensions, UFO sightings, unknown creatures, and just about anything that goes bump in the night. With this team, we all come together to explore the unexplained at this beautiful place where the paranormal is normal. It all happens here where I live with 50 ghosts. My wife and I just call it home. Our friends call it the Paranormal Palace.